I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here. Even and this one is exciting. Even what, Brett? Yeah, even when it's, uh, well, there's no cooking today, but we do have our aprons on because we are prepping, prepping for a, a, cook. a cook. Exactly. But so. before we can do that, we got to talk real quick. We just recently got the Platinum Lorena 1000 from Pit Boss. We're so thrilled and not only finally to get to use a pellet smoker, which we've been wanting forever, yes. but to actually get to work with a company like Pit Boss. Yes. This is incredible. We're super excited for this one and we're sure there'll be more to come within our rotation of our outdoor cooking, which if, you're, if you've been Following us, you know how much we love outdoor cooking, especially on the griddle. Yes. This is just uh, upping our game to uh, sharing what we love to do outdoor cooking. So expanding our kitchen. Expanding if you our will. kitchen. So this is uh, a necessary step anytime you get the smoker. Just like with a griddle, how we have to do the seasoning process. Mm -hmm. We also have the burn off, which this is just going to kind of burn off any residue, any of the oils, any, the, or the, anything the chemicals that they use, that they use for the, shipping and packing to exactly. make sure it doesn't rust. So, Correct. And that process really takes about 30 minutes. So we're just going to jump right in and show you. This shouldn't be that long of a video. Correct. But we're just going to show you the process in case you're new and this and hopefully this will help you out. Yep. So let's go ahead and get to it. We've already done the initial step of making sure that everything is is cleared from the hopper. Uh, we did it go ahead and transfer our wood pellets into a bucket. That was mainly because we didn't want a lot of that sawdust that builds up at the bottom. So we made sure that we've got actually in a couple buckets. We have a 40 pound bag yeah. of the all natural wood pellets from Pit Boss. And so we've got them in the bucket. Brett's going to go ahead and fill those. Smells like wood yard. Yes. All right. So 26 pound hopper has about, I'd say a good 20 pounds of pellets in it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, one thing that I really like about this is the, is the release trap in the back. We are here in central Florida. And so when it gets really humid, we can actually pull the excess and rebucket up our wood pellets. All right. So now that that is full, I mean, obviously it's not full, but what I love is we've got the side window so we can see we're, we're a quarter of the way, almost halfway full with that. If we were doing a full cook, we would go ahead and top that off. But Brett, go ahead and close that and press the power button. Just give it a quick tap. And we're gonna bring that up to temperature. We've already tested that. And now we're gonna get it all the way up to 375 to 350 degrees, yeah, 350. Set, all right, there you go. There's the actual, so right now it's at 86 degrees. We're gonna let that come up to temp and we're gonna prime it. Press and hold the prime button until we start to see some of those pellets go. Here they come. Ah. And here we go. We're starting to get our first pellets. So once these drop, we know we're ready to go. So we'll let these drop. Oh man, that is satisfying, dude. <laughs> it's slow satisfaction. Right? So uh, it is working. So we're gonna go ahead and stop this and we're gonna put everything else back in so we can get ready to burn this thing off. All right, everything is in and ready for the burn off. So we're gonna turn this off. And then we're gonna reset this and start it and we're gonna do the initial burn off. We're gonna burn it at 350 degrees for about 30 or 40 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and close the lid. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna set this to 350 degrees and uh, let it go. We can hear those pellets dropping and we'll see you in about 30 to 40 minutes. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky. I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And 
And I hope I've seen enough to make something right. Make up for All right, well, there, there we it go. Is. Burn off complete. Uh, so it looks a little bit different. Flame's still going. We've got some ash. We got to clean up in there. That brass plate is now black. Black, exactly. And that's okay. We we ran it. We got it up to four. We we were running it to 350. We decided to crank it to 450, uh, and so we had it there until we opened the lid. We got that. So now we're gonna turn this off, and uh, the burn off is complete. <laughs> So now it's gonna be time to cook on it. So that was it, it's really a simple process. That's the one thing I appreciate about yeah. it. Just turn it on, get to the higher heat, and uh, just let it run for about, we let it run for about 45 minutes. Correct. About 30, 40 minutes, we thought, you know what, we wanna crank it, cranked it up just a little bit. It really is just to burn off any excess oil or any foreign objects that might yep. be in there, uh, any form, foreign debris that might be in there. So we just burned it off and did that. If you have any questions or any suggestions for burn off, go ahead and post those in the comments below. We'd love more dialogue about this, but we can't wait to get to the first cook, which we've been yes. prepping. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up so we can get to that now. Yeah, in fact, uh, yeah, let's do that. Brett, so aside from coming to hang out and get this first burn off done and get ready to cook on the Pit Boss Laredo. That's right. Why else are we doing this? Is all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my face.